I don't want to make a habit out of doing videos like this because I want the channel to be primarily comic reviews and comic shop reviews and interviews with creators and maybe top 10 lists, things like that. But every once in a while something really cool happens like this and I just gotta talk about it. Recently I got a message from Yago Williams, and I'm sorry if I'm mispronouncing your name, I'm probably gonna mispronounce every single name in this video. He goes by I Can Illustrate It on Instagram, and he was excited to see that I visited the Comic Signal, and he wanted to say thank you for giving us such a good review by sending me a bunch of prints done by him and a few other artists who frequent that shop. And I am never one to turn down free stuff, so I said absolutely send them over. I expected like five or six sketches, you know, pencil, maybe inked stuff. Instead, I got this fat stack of fully finished, very high quality prints. So I figured I'd share them with you because they're pretty neat. There's work from four different artists here and they're all open for commissions by the way So if you see anything you like reach out to them on Instagram I'll start with Michael Bull Wee who goes by Thrillustration 77 on Instagram again Really sorry if I'm mispronouncing it He's got these great Batman prints from the Keaton movie, which I still haven't seen honestly And this one here kind of reminds me of Barry Windsor Smith with the detail in there kind of the rugged warrior on top of an ice mountain It's very Windsor Smith to me. We've also got this really cool Boba Fett that has some awesome textures on there. Let me hold that up for you so you can see that cool texture. And then this last one he sent me I think is really impressive. Look at this Harley Quinn. If that's not the most unsettling Harley Quinn you've ever seen, then I don't know what is. There is a ton ton of emotion in that face. That's pretty entrancing, honestly. It's kind of scary. Once again, that's Michael Bowl Hewis. He's Thrillustration77 on Instagram. Then I've got some work here by John Vanderkar. He goes by Vander Sketch on Instagram. First up, we got Spider-Man Noir. I love the texturing details in this one. The sides of the picture look like a burned postcard. I think that's pretty neat. We've also got Batman Beyond there, I'm pretty sure. I haven't actually seen the series, so I'm, I'm not 100% certain that's what it is, but I think so. This is a pretty sick Venom sketch. Very moody. And this Ninja Turtles print he sent is probably my favorite work of his. It's got a ton of detail in this cityscape, lots of character work. The anatomy is probably the strongest in this one out of all of the pictures. It's definitely a mood. It sets a very strong mood. But then what I think is the coolest thing he sent is this 10-page comic that he drew. It was written by Andrew Weisbrook. It came out last year. It's just 10 pages. It's a cute story about a girl who's playing hide-and-seek. She hides in the closet, pulls on the string to turn the light on, and she gets transported back and forth through time. When I was in college, I started a comic book club, which was unfortunate unfortunately destroyed by COVID, but in the meantime, we were trying to start our own comic book series. So I know from experience that it's very difficult to write a good 10-page comic story. It's just a lot of stuff to fit into a very small space. But it's really cool to see a local creator doing what I assume is one of their first comic works, and we have the How It Was Made stuff in the back here. And I think it was printed by Comics Wellspring. I wonder if that's a local Grand Rapids printer company. So that's pretty cool. That's all Vandersketch on Instagram. The majority of this stack of prints is from Yacht himself. I can illustrate it. This is a ton of prints that he sent me and they're all on this really expensive expensive glossy paper. And there's quite a bit of range here. We got Marvel, DC, Mortal Kombat, some anime, Star Wars, all kinds of nerdy stuff. Some of my favorite ones would be this Deadpool print, not because I love Deadpool, but because I think this one shows a lot of skill. There's a lot of dynamics in the coloring here. This Mephisto versus Scarlet Witch. I like the layout and the poses. I think it's nice classic Marvel look. And this Alien print. Sometimes simple is just really nice. It's only black and white, but it is so cohesive. He also sent this three part print that has Lobo on one end and then one in the middle that's just the chain and then at the other end of the chain it's some guy from Mortal Kombat. I don't know. I've never played the game. So I bet that would look pretty sick if you got them all framed separately. But like I said, there's a ton of prints he sent me. There's a ton of range. You should check him out on Instagram. He's called I Can Illustrate It. And the last set of prints I got was from somebody who signed every piece but I don't know their name so I don't know what their Instagram is. But they've got some pretty cool stuff. I like this Miles Morales especially because of the nice chrome coloring on the spider web there. It really pops out again against his kind of flat colors of the actual subject. And I don't watch anime, but that seems pretty solid. This one is pretty neat as well. I like all the details on that motorcycle. Look at all the intricate details in there. And then we got some nice peaceful D&D style art right there. Maybe you want to get your character illustrated. I'm sure this guy would love to do it. Or person. I don't know who they are. Anyway, like I said, I don't really want to make a video every time somebody sends me something because then I wouldn't be able to put out the actual videos that the channel is for. But this was just so much cool stuff all at once. I felt like I had to share it with you guys. Huge thank you to 
appreciate all the people who sent me stuff, especially Yago for setting it up. These are all great local artists from the Grand Rapids area who visit the Comic Signal, which was the most highly rated comic shop in Michigan. I have started the very lengthy process of every comic shop in Georgia. I'm trying to do a lot more planning before I get on the road this time so that I can do it much more efficiently. So until next time, I'm Kurt Williams. Rise and grind. Don't crease those spines.